Hi again, uh, here we are to continue talking about Express and Node. And in our last video, we set up the, the middleware. And you know, I realized I had made a mistake and somewhere I had accidentally deleted my definition for Express. Let me put that back in here. So if that was a problem for you, I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I did. Um, so anyway, I'll, I'll import Express again with require. And then we should be back in business, right? So we've got our uh, body parser, express handlebars, and express. We set up the engine here to use handlebars, right? And we set that as the view engine. And in order to get this to work, we'll need to create a couple templates. So let's do that right now. I'm going to go over to the sidebar here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder inside the Reddit clone folder project. And this is going to be a folder called views, OK? You can set this to a different folder name in the options here for Express Handlebars, but the default value is Views, and we'll just stick with that because it's a pretty good choice. So we've got the Views folder here. It should be at the same level where um, Server.js is, right? Inside Views, we're going to create another folder. So inside Views, we're going to create a folder called Layouts. Oops, wait a minute. I created a file. I meant to create a folder. Sorry about that. Let's do this again here. Let's delete that guy. Go over here, new folder, and we'll call this layouts. Okay? So all one word, L-A-W-O-U-T-S, right? So layouts. And then we'll create another folder here too that we'll use later called partials. Okay? Right? So so what, should, what we should have here is the views folder and inside views, so the views should be at the top at the top level of our project in the project folder and inside views we should have two folders, layouts and partials, right? So layouts is going to have our default template and we're going to create a default template here called main. You can put some other ones in there but we're going to make sure that we make this one because that'll be the default one. So let's make that now. I'm going to say new file inside layouts and call it main.hbs. So you'll remember that we use the, the .hbs as our extension name for the templates, right? So, so we'll use that name here on this file. So this is main hbs. This file will have the default HTML code in it. So I'm just going to type in the default HTML stuff here. Right, so I got the doc type, I got the HTML tag, we'll add the head tag, um, the title tag, the, um, the closing head tag, oops, and the body tag, right? And there's our default HTML. Right, and we'll add some more to this later too, and we can put in a link to our style sheet, we can put a link to some JavaScript, we can put the meta tag, you know, all the other stuff can go in here. I'll just leave it like this for now. Um, inside the body though, I'm going to add a couple of these curly braces, and what we need is we need three of them, okay? And we'll talk more about this later, but essentially using handlebars, we can write our template in HTML like you would normally write an HTML page. But what you'll do is you'll use the curly braces. These kind of look like bicycle handlebars from above. That's why they call it um, handlebars, right? These are the handlebars. And inside here, you can name variables that you pass to the template. So this essentially acts as a placeholder for the body. Since this is the main template, body is going to be all of the code, right? It's going to just put everything here, like the main part of your, your page, right? You can put some other stuff in here too, but, uh, but the main part will go here. Um, and we'll test this out in a minute, right? So, so anyway, so we'll put three, and if we put three of these... Um, it will actually convert any HTML in here to HTML. If you use, and you'll see we'll do this later, if you just use two handlebars, then everything in here gets um, URL encoded so it doesn't show up as HTML tags, right? So we might use HTML formatting for the body. So we'll put that in the three, um, three curly braces, right? So anyway, so we're set there. You can save that file. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add one more file. This one has to go at the views level, right? And we'll call this one home. So this will home.hbs, right? So, you know, if I look in here, I should have 
layouts, partials, and then home. And we'll talk about partials later. Um, so this should not be in the partials and it should not be in layout. Home should be in views. And then layout and partials should also be at view. So these guys should all be siblings, right? So anyway, so home will be our home page, right? And let's imagine that um, you have a, uh, a message here that you want to show in an H1 tag. So you put an H1 here. And the message will use two sets of curly braces. And the message will go here inside the H1 tag. And maybe you have a, like a subheading, right? So we'll make this like a, um, I don't know, we'll just make it a paragraph, a P tag. And I'll use two sets of curly braces and I'll call it subheading, okay? Maybe this one should have been heading, right? I don't know. I'll, yeah, I'll just leave it as message, right? So it'll be our message and this will be the sub subheading, right? And you could have a lot of other content, and we'll do that later. But for right now, just to get started, we'll, we'll do these two things. And this will be our home page. So let's imagine that whenever you go, and I'm going to switch to server.js, whenever you go to the root route right down here, the home route, what we'll do is we want to render the home template here. Okay? So what I'm going to do is instead of just sending text to the server, I'm going to change response.send to response.render, okay? And what I'll do is I'll name the template that I want to use, and the template I want to use is home. And then I'll put a JavaScript object after home and name properties that I want to, you know, um, populate the template with. And you remember I had two variables there. I had message and I had subheading. Right? And I'll make each of these a string, right? And if you want, you can kind of break these up onto separate lines, right? So maybe the message is, you know, hello world, and the subheading is um, hello from Express.js, right? Okay? So anyway, so we've got these things, and let's give our, our site a test, right? So what should happen here is when we go to this route, um, Express will handle that request here and we'll call the render method on the response object and we'll tell it what template to render the home HBS template and then we'll populate the variables in the template with this JavaScript object that we pass to render okay so we'll set up a message variable and a subheading variable and the values here will get plugged into the spaces here in the template, right? So let's give that a try. Um, we'll go to our, our terminal here, and I'm going to type in node server.js. So that should run our server. It says app is running on port 3000. And then if I go to the um, to the, the browser here and reload it, you'll see it says hello world, and then it says hello from Express.js. So that's my template, right? You know, so this is, here we'll go look at it again. So you can see this is the H1 right here, and then this is the subheading, right? And, you know, we could reuse this template for other pages, right? Or we could create new templates for those pages to display information in different ways, right? So anyway, thanks for watching, and we've got um, our templating engine set up, and we're kind of good to go, and we can add more information after this, right? So thanks for watching.